Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope everything's going well for you in the office this week. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite express tools that's been in the program for quite some time called Super Hatch. Now, if you've ever tried to create your, ha your own hatch pattern, you will really appreciate Super Hatch. Creating your own hatch pattern is really, really hard. I mean, it's like it's like CAD torture, frankly, if you ask me. And it's you know you can't just draw a hatch pattern and say poof, you're a hatch pattern. You actually have to code it. Very complicated. That's why Super Hatch is so very powerful. So I am going to go into the Super Hatch command. Now you can get to the Super Hatch command from the ribbon if you go to Express Tools. You will see Super Hatch right there. And for those of you who aren't using the ribbon or you're not up to AutoCAD 2009 yet. No problem, go to the Express pull down menu and go to the draw option there and you'll see Super Hatch shows up. Now these are all the different types of things that I can use for Super Hatch. I can hatch with an image, a block, XREFs, wipeouts, you're probably going to be focusing on images and blocks though. So I'm going to go ahead and select image. We're going to be focusing on image for this particular uh, video. I'm going to go ahead and select oak bed. And I don't think I need to specify that. No, nope, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and select, now I want my pattern, I want one, one leaf all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't want it to repeat itself in the pattern. That looks pretty good to me. If you don't like it, you can do it again. You probably don't know what I'm talking about yet, so we'll talk about that in more detail later. And now it works just like Hatch. I'm going to pick an internal point, and you'll see that sure enough, it uses my image to fill that in. Very easy to work with. All right, let's do this again. This time, we'll still use an image. Unfortunately, it doesn't default to oak bed. Sure wish it did. Um, but you know, such a great command, we're going to let it slide. I'm going to say I want to specify the rotation angle. It really needs to be 90 degrees because I'm going to do this lengthwise as now. Pick the insertion point. The scale factor, that's just really there to help you figure out how big you want that image to be. And I want, in this case, the rotation angle is going to be 90, right? So we'll type in 90. Looks good to me. Once again, if you think that this needs to be a smaller scale or a larger scale, you can change your mind. You can change your mind and rotation angle as well because it says, is the placement of this image acceptable? You bet it is. I'm going to select an internal point here, an internal one here. Easy enough. Okay, so you can see it, it repeated itself right here and here, right, as far as the image. If you didn't want that to happen, then you would have made a very large scale factor, right? All right, let's do it one more time. We're going to do this one at an angle. Once again, same image, too bad you don't default. <laughs> and this time, I don't. once again, I really don't care too much about the, the actual scale factor, but I'm going to get it so it's going about the same angle as what we have up there. That looks pretty good. Yes, that looks good. And I'm going to cross hatch in here, and in the interest of time, I'm also going to grab that one over there. Okay, there's what, those, that's where all I want the wooden beams to go, right? Now, I'm going to do use Chrome, a Chrome image inside of here. So let's go back into Super Hatch. Let's do image one more time. This time we're going to pick Chrome. It's a pretty small scale. I don't think we have a lot of control over it. It's going to just repeat itself. And for the angle, we'll just keep that at zero. That looks pretty good. We go ahead and select inside of all of the metal areas here. Easy, easy, easy. Now this takes a little bit longer. It's thinking it has some holes in there. It has to negotiate through. But you should see that it looks pretty darn good, right? Looks good. All right, we're going to do two more images. We're going to put some cement in here, and then we're going to make this look like it really is dirt. It's going to be very realistic. So let's go back into Super Hatch. We're going to do another image. This time we're going to do cement. And that, you can see, it's not going to matter much on the scale factor for any of that. Let's go ahead and knock that in really fast. Looks good. Pick an internal point. And last but not least, the last one, the dirt, my favorite part. I like the dirt to look pretty have a big scale factor so you can really see it's dirt. So I am going to make it pretty big. Yeah, see, very easy to, for you to see. It looks good. Pick inside of this area right in here. And you'll see it works just like hatching. I love this. This is really fantastic. Now, if you think about it, you can really think out of the box here. One of the disadvantages of hatch patterns is, is that, you know, they're all the, the entire hatch pattern is on the same layer and it's the same line weight. So you will find that with Super Hatch, you can create blocks that are made up of different colors and different line types and different line weights so that when you do the hatching, you have that variety that you don't have with standard hatching. You simply draw the way you want it to look, turn it into a block, and use it just like you saw me use images. Also, another thing you can do totally out of the, out of the box is you can create 3D blocks, um, you know, such as hatch patterns like a 
like brick, brick for example, or roof tiles. And then you can use that to hatch with, and then you actually end up with a 3D hatch pattern, which is pretty, pretty impressive, right? So something for you to think about. I love Super Hatch. Give it a try. As you can see, it's very simple to work with. And I'm going to see you back here in two more Tuesdays. Have a great rest of the week.